change propagated over its cellular surface. Dinah, please at least try to win. I guess I'll have to help you play. In multicellular organisms, even in simple forms such as sponges, Alice, are you even listening to me? I'm afraid I'm not either. Why can't we just enjoy the summer? While we're on holiday, we must keep up with our lessons. Mother insisted. What kind of holiday is that? Are you playing cards with your cat? What an odd thing to do. She's much more interesting company than you at the moment. I'm just doing as Mother instructed. You needn't be so difficult. And I don't see why you had to bring your cat along to the lesson anyway. I need someone to keep me company during this boring lecture. You must pay attention to the lesson. It's very important for you to learn. What could be so important about a book without any pictures in it? Alice, when you're older, you'll realize there are a great many books worth reading without any pictures in them. If I were to write a book, it would be nothing but pictures. Well, then you wouldn't have written it, would you? A picture's worth a thousand words, they say. Be that it may, these are important facts for you to know if you want to understand the world. It's a dreadfully boring world, if that's what I need to understand it. That's nonsense. Exactly! If I had a world, it would be nothing but nonsense. Nothing but what it is, and what it was, it wouldn't be. There would be no point in trying to understand anything, because nothing could be understood. And you wouldn't have to learn any of these boring lectures, because everything about the world would be interesting. I'm getting very tired of this, Alice. Can we please continue? I suppose. During evolutionary development, receptor systems appear. The receptor element being in the That's exactly how it would be, though, Dinah. In my world, you really could keep me company. You'd be able to talk and don't look at me like that. You would. All the animals would. And they'd wear clothes and live in houses, just like people. And it would always be tea time, so there would be no time to study. And people could do exactly what they feel, no restrictions at all. <sighs> this lecture is making me so sleepy. Wake me when we go in for tea. Alice, it's time for tea. Alice! What? What is it? You fell asleep while I was reading. I'm sorry, Edith, but how was I not to? It doesn't matter. Now gather your things. It's tea time. We'll finish your lesson later. All right. Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. Oh, it's a rabbit. There's nothing peculiar about that, Dinah. It's just a rabbit with a necklace and a peculiar device. I'll be right there, Edith. All my fur whiskers, whatever shall I do? Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit, wait! Miss Rabbit, wait! Oh, where did he go? Probably something interesting and he leaves. Are you in there? something interesting and he leaves. It's a cat. Cheshire Cat, would you tell me which way I ought to go? That depends a good deal on where you want to go. I don't really care where. Then it doesn't matter which way you go. As long as I get somewhere. 
Well, you're sure to do that if you keep walking long enough. What sort of people live about here? Well, in that direction lives a Mad Hatter. Uh, no, thank you. Perhaps there's someone else? Well, in that direction lives a March Hare. Oh, thank you. I think I shall visit him. Of course. <laughs> He's mad, too. I don't want to go among mad people. We're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. How do you know that I'm mad? Well, you must be mad. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. How do you know that you're mad? Well, a dog wags its tail when it's pleased and growls when it's angry. I growl when I'm pleased and wag my tail when I'm angry. Therefore, I'm mad. Are you playing croquet with the queen? I should like to very much, but I haven't been invited. You'll see me there. I love croquet. I've often seen a cat without a grin, but a grin without a cat is the most curious thing I've ever seen. I've met Harris before, so I suppose the March Hare will be much more interesting. And perhaps, as it's May, he won't be as mad as he would be in March. There's no room! No room indeed! No room. There's plenty of room. Would you like a biscuit? I don't see any biscuits. Mm. There aren't any. It wasn't very civil to offer them. It wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited. Mm -mm. I didn't know it was your table. It's late for a great many more than three. Your hair could use some cutting. You shouldn't make personal remarks. It's very rude. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Hmm. I believe I can get that. You mean you think you know the answer to it? Yes, exactly. Then you should say what you mean. I do. At least, I mean what I say. It's the same thing. You might as well say, I like what I get is the same as, I get what I like. Alright. <coughs> oh, you... Well, you might as well say, I sleep when I breathe is the same as I breathe when I, s I sleep, yeah. yeah. It's the same thing with you. Mm. I don't understand you. The Dormouse is asleep again. Mm. Precisely what I was going to remark myself. Have you guessed a riddle yet? No, I give up. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea. You should do something better with your time than asking mm. riddles that have no answers. Mm. If you knew time as well as I do, you wouldn't talk of wasting it. You're wasting him. I don't know what you mean. Of course you don't. I doubt you've even never spoke to time. Perhaps not, but I know I have to beat the time when I learn music. Oh, he won't stand for beating. If you kept on good terms with time, he'd do almost anything you'd like with the clock. I still don't understand. Say it was 9 o'clock in the morning and time for school. It simply whisper a hint of time and it would be half past one in time for dinner. Mm-hmm. I wish it was. I've had nothing but tea cakes for a year. That would be grand, but I wouldn't be hungry for it so soon after breakfast. Not at first, perhaps, but you could keep it half past one for as long as you like. Is that the way you manage? Not anymore. Time and I quarreled last March at the great concert for the Queen of Hearts. I had to sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Bat. Do you know that song? I think I've heard something like it. I barely went through the second verse and the Queen cried out, He's murdering the time off with his head. How dreadfully savage. Ever since then, he won't do anything I ask. It's always six o'clock now. Is that why you have so many teacups out here? Precisely. It's always tea time, and we don't have time to wash the cups in between. So you move around the table as you dirty the cups? Exactly, my dear. What happens when you reach the beginning again? Would you care for some more tea? I haven't had any tea yet, so I couldn't possibly take more. <clears throat> you mean you couldn't take less? You can always take more than nothing. Nobody asked your opinion. 
Oh, who's making personal remarks now? Well, I don't think. Well, if you don't think, then you shouldn't talk. Mm -mm. Fine, if that's the way you feel, then I'll just leave. <laughs> Did I miss something? How did you like the hair and the hatter? I didn't. That was the stupidest tea party I've ever been to in all my life. I thought you didn't mind to whom you spoke. I wanted to speak to someone who could get me home. You never said so. What do you mean? Well, you can't expect to get what you want if you assume people already know. I've had enough of this. I don't think you plan to help me at all. That's a harsh accusation, my dear. Where is your home? I can't rightly say. I should guess that it would be above ground from here, but we don't appear to be under any ground that I can see. If you live above ground, how did you come to be here? I fell down a rabbit hole. Wait, did you say you fell down a rabbit hole? Yes. I know where that is. It's one of my favorite haunts. I don't think it would do me any good to go back. I can't go back the way I came. Frankly, I don't know how the rabbit gets up and down. You could, of course, ask the rabbit herself. I never thought of that. I can take you to her, but you won't like where she is. Why? Where is she? She's with the queen. The queen? Would you like me to take you to her? I'd rather not, but if it's the only way to get me home, I suppose I'm not. Uh, lead the way. Lead the way where? Stop that. How am I supposed to follow you if you keep vanishing? In here. The game is through these doors to the far side of the woods. Now to the far side of the woods. But in which direction? Maybe she would know. persons in a date it is very confusing. It is not. Well, perhaps your feelings may be different. All I know is that it feels very queer to me. You, who are you? Don't you think you ought to tell me who you are first? Why? This is getting me nowhere. I've never been so contradicted in all my life. Wait, come back. I have something important to say. Oh, dear. Well, what is it? Keep your temper. Is that all? No. So you think you've been changed, do you? I'm afraid so. I can't seem to remember things as I used to. You can't remember what things? Well, I tried to recite how doth the little buzzy bee, but it came out all wrong. I see. Recite your old Father William. I'll try. Your old Father William, the young man said, and your hair has become very white. Yet you incessantly stand on your head. Do you think at, at your age it is right? That was almost correct. Try again. Very well. In my youth, moved Father William replied to his son, I feared it might injure the brain. Now that I'm practically sure I have none, will I do it again and again? You are old, said the youth, as I've mentioned before, and you've grown most uncommonly fat. Yet, you turn a back somersault in at the door. Pray, what is the reason for that? In my youth, said the sage, as he shook his gray locks, I kept my 
is very subtle. With the use of this ointment, one shilling a box, allow me to sell you a couple? You're old, said the youth, and your job? That was not spoken correctly. Not quite correctly, I am afraid. It was wrong from beginning to end. Well, I never. Well, unless you can tell me where I am to be. Where would you like to be? I'd like to visit the Queen of Hearts. The Cheshire Cat told me she's playing croquet today. He and the White Rabbit will be there. And why would you go up to see the White Rabbit? He knows how I am to get out of here. And what exactly is wrong with being here? Well, I'm not used to it. And I wish the creatures here weren't so easily offended. You'll get used to it. Good luck. Stick to the line. Thank you for your help. What little there was. What a lovely clearing. But I mustn't tarry too long. I don't want to be late for the, the croquet game. That would be frightfully rude. You fools. Finish painting or it will be all our heads. Careful, don't spill. Pardon me. Oh, well, thank goodness. I thought you were the queen. The queen? Where? <clears throat> it isn't the queen. It's just some little girl. Yes, and I was going to ask what you were doing here. We're painting the roses red. Why are you painting roses? Well, you see, the queen wanted red roses, but we painted white ones then by mistake. And if she sees them, it'll be all our heads. I've heard about the queen. The hatter told me he, he knew the moon lost his head and from murdering the time. We don't have time. Hurry, help us paint the roses. <laughs> all right. Oh no! What's happening? The Queen! The Queen? The Queen is coming! The Queen is coming! Quick, bow down! Who are you? My name is Alice, Your Majesty. And who is this? How should I know? It's no business of mine. How dare you! Off with her head! But well, she's only a child, dear. Very well. You there. Yes, Your Majesty. What are you doing? Why, nothing, Your Majesty. There is paint on my roses. Who planted white roses here? It wasn't me. It was the ace. Don't blame me. It was the three. Enough. Off with your head. Say croquet, my dear. Yes, Your Majesty. Then let the game begin. It's a very fine day today. Oh, so now you have time to speak to me. Who are you? Well, I'm... Get to your places. its head. Oh dear, what shall become of me? They're awfully fond of beheading people here. It's amazing that there's anyone left alive. Hello again. Oh, Cheshire Cat, now I shall have someone to talk to. How are you getting along? Not very well. They don't really play fairly. Who are you talking to? It's a friend of mine, the Cheshire Cat. Good day. I don't like the look of it very much, but it may kiss my hand. It's what I like. I'd rather not. How dare you! My dear, I wish you had this cat's removed. Off with its head. <laughs> my dear, how can we be behead a cat that isn't here? Fool! You can behead any creature. His lack of body will only make it easier. I see, my dear.
No, the game's going better now. But I need to go find the white rabbit. My dear, have you met the mock turtle yet? No, Your Majesty. I don't even know what a mock turtle is. It's the thing they make mock turtle soup from. I've never seen nor heard of one. Well, come along then. He'll tell you his history while waiting to become soup. A bright book. I beg your pardon, Your Majesty, but I must go find the white rabbit first. You see, he's the only one who knows how I am to get home. You can't. He was late to the game and is about to be executed. You big bully. You can't keep going around executing everyone. I can and I will. Child or not, you are insolent. Off with your head. Alice, wake up. Wake up. Alice, wake up. The queen, help me. Alice, calm yourself. You've only been asleep. Asleep? Oh, Edith, I had the most curious dream. There was a rabbit with a necklace, a tea party that never ended, and a cat that vanished into thin air. And the whole country was ruled by hey, the Queen of Hearts, which kept order and beheadings left and right. Oh, Alice, you're such an odd child. If you had been listening to your lessons like you were supposed to, you wouldn't have had such a bizarre dream. Now, come on. It's tea time, and it's already very late. 